The Coast Guard says it's cleaned up all but six liters of heavy bunker fuel in Vancouver's English Bay. On Wednesday night, almost 3,000 liters of the fuel spilled, and Vancouver's mayor, as well as Premier Christy Clark, have criticized the federal government for the time it took to respond. Archel Bennett joins us now from the shores of Kitsilano Beach on English Bay with an update on cleanup efforts today. Jill. Randy and the MV Marathasa was on its maiden voyage when there was some kind of malfunction that caused that bunker fuel to spill into the waters behind me. An update today from the Coast Guard is good news. The Coast Guard is saying that most of that oil that spilled into the waters has been recovered. Certainly more than 80% of the spilled oil uh, has, uh, uh, has been recovered and that quantification continues. On the shoreline, uh, every indication that we have is that the soiling is in fact uh, minor. Now, many people are questioning the response time to the initial spill and questioning whether or not that response would have been a lot faster if the Kitsilano Coast Guard base was still open. That base was closed by the federal government just a couple of years ago. So we'd be on scene in less than 10 minutes. We would have a, 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 a Coast Guard cutter here or we had um, a vessel that was designed specifically for first responding on an oil spill and all the crew were trained to operate that vessel. The skipper, actually the sailor who was out on the water and one of the very first people to call 911 when he noticed the spill says he called but no one arrived. So we understood, uh, you know, 508 that, uh, that the, the Coast Guard were en route and two and a half, three hours later, there was still nobody there. I've never been in an oil spill and recovered 80% of the oil. The best you can recover is 30% and you're lucky if you get 10. And they have to get underwater cameras to go around the, uh, the bottom of English Bay to find out exactly what went to the bottom. Now, as for the cleanup, it is continuing and it will be some time before the true impact of this is known. For the wildlife, three birds have been taken to a wildlife rehabilitation center. They were covered with oil from the spill and crews are still out absorbing that oil off rocks on some of the beaches that are the hardest hit. They're also keeping their eyes open for any other animals that might have been affected by this.